one, this appears to be a geometric series. So I'm going to refer to my formula sheet where it says series. And it says sum of a geometric series. The sum is the first term. Sometimes we use u. Sometimes we use a. It doesn't really matter. u1 or a1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So we need the first term. Do we know that? Six. By the way, are we sure this is geometric? Yes, because it's multiplying by three every time, right? Multiplying, yeah, multiplying by three every time. So it's geometric. Then you do one minus, I just said what it's multiplying by, three. That's my r. To the nth power divided by one minus three. I need to backtrack here for a minute. This would be the formula to use if they wanted to know how many terms there are, if they wanted to know the sum of the whole thing. If you wanted to know what all of these added up to, you would do this formula. Okay? That will find the sum. They want to know how many terms there are. So there are a couple ways to do that. One is to use the explicit formula for geometric, which is right below it. on your formula sheet. It's right below it. Another way is to go on your calculator and enter in the first term times 3. Was 18 the second term? Keep hitting enter. That's the third term. Fourth term. 5, 6, 7. What are we looking for? 8, 9, when it gets to 39,366, what was I on? Nine. It's the ninth term. So that's the answer. Using your calculator, that's called recursion. Okay? If you wanted to use the formula, it's the last term is the first times r to the n minus 1. The last term, 39,366, equals the first term, 6, times r, 3, to the n minus 1. If you like using formulas, this is for you. Divide both sides by 6. How's that? Divide out the 6, you should get 65, 61. Right? Would be okay there? Now, how do you solve for an exponent? You use a log. Do the log base 3 of 65, 61. Ready? Alpha window. Number 5. Base 3. 65, 61. I get 8. I thought the answer was 9. Well, that's because... We just solved for n minus 1. If n minus 1 equals 8, then n must be 9. So there are definitely 9 terms in this problem. Okay? For the next problem, number 32, you would do everything I just did to find how many terms there are, and then use this formula to see what the sum is. Okay? And... 1 would go there, r would be 3, n, you need to figure out how many terms there are, and then you run it through that formula. Okay? Number 32, you should get 9841. 9,841.